Ike now with all the details. Kristen? Oh, yeah. You can definitely call it a heat wave. That is for sure. And it's going to be an extended one, too, because we're going to have numerous days of 90-degree plus weather. Outside right now, though, it feels really nice out. Temperatures in the low to mid 80s, a little hot for you in the sunshine, but there is a pleasant breeze coming in from the northwest, 5 to 15 miles an hour right now coming in from, at about 7. And uh, the humidity, humidity is down a little bit. We're down to 38%. Humidity will try to creep up on us a little bit this weekend and into early next week, which will make it feel a bit hotter, too. So not only are the numbers going to be going up, but that little extra humidity is going to make it feel a little hotter to your skin as well. Uh, what you can expect for this evening, if you have outdoor plans, of course, a couple of the farmers markets going until 7 p.m. You have uh, the Rodney Atkins concert in Oregon Zoo. Temperatures will be in the low 80s through 7 o'clock and then mid 70s through 9 o'clock and then by 11 p.m. We're down into the upper 60s and we'll see a few clouds try to roll in overnight tonight and then it's back to the sunshine very quickly. A few thunderstorms down south of Bend over to the south and east of Lapine. Uh, this thunderstorm right here and it's traveling to the north and east and you can see a couple more thunderstorms east of there uh, producing quite a bit of lightning. The big concern with these storms uh, is that lightning causing fires. We have red flag warnings in effect for much of southern Oregon and south central Oregon and so we'll have to keep a close eye on this. Uh, this storm was severe and has now been allowed to expire that warning uh, so it has weakened a bit still producing some lightning still some heavy rain It's not moving too quickly so there could be some ponding in areas from some of the heavy rain but the severe threat the danger from it is over at this point your forecast as we go through the next few days and into early next week uh, this is it high pressure dominating our weather so uh, that's going to keep us very hot the storm track gets cranked up well to the north so uh, that'll keep some storms away it'll keep a lot of the cloud cover away but with this little bit of moisture moving in and you get the heating of the day. We will have to watch for some pop-up thunderstorms in this weekend. If you're planning on camping out at the Cascade, you may have to dodge a few storms, so something to keep in mind. And what this is going to do is direct all the cooler air to the north from Canada. It's going to direct it down across the middle part of the country, and so they're actually going to be experiencing uh, well below average temperatures. In fact, lows at night in the low 40s, highs only in the 50s, so it is going to be almost chilly in those areas while we have to find ways to beat the heat. As far as the weather goes, again, we'll start off with some clouds tomorrow morning. We'll clear that out. Chances for showers and storms, mainly along the Cascades down to the south, and then also the South Valley may get a stray shower thunderstorm. Storm. Same thing goes for South Central Southern Oregon tomorrow. Uh, we'll have to watch for a few more thunderstorms popping up. This is 9 a.m. for your Saturday. Uh, we'll start off nice and dry, and then we'll watch for a few stray storms again along the Cascades and then across parts of Central and Eastern Oregon, having to watch out for a few showers. Their coast range may see a stray shower thunderstorm as well. Sunday looks like it'll be the best chance for any of those showers or storms to make it into the Willamette Valley. Slight chances, but there will be that possibility Sunday afternoon. Of course, Friday evening, the Hillsboro Hops are playing. Great weather for some baseball. First pitch at 7.05. Temperatures will be in the mid 80s with mainly sunny skies. And then as we head into the weekend, of course, Saturday, you have the Mississippi Street Fair. A lot of folks heading to that Saturday. It starts Saturday morning. Temperatures will be in the low 70s, but quickly warming by noon in the 80s. And then we're topping it out in the low 90s. So stay hydrated. Wear the sunscreen. Don't forget to bring the water with you. If you're going to be doing anything outdoors, it's going to get hot quickly. Back to the 90s for the valley. The coast will be in the mid 60s with mostly cloudy skies, a little bit of sunshine for the afternoon. Central and eastern Oregon in the upper 80s and low 90s with a few stray storms for the gorge. Light winds tomorrow uh, with temperatures in the low 90s, 79 at Government Camp, and of course for the metro area. We're going to hit 89 tomorrow. After that, it's back to the 90 degree weather and it sticks around. Saturday, Sunday, low to mid 90s, very hot, extreme heat early next week. Tuesday, uh, we're topping out at the triple digits, and we can see uh, numbers close to that on either side of it, too, Monday and Wednesday. You know, we're right in the mm -hmm. heart of summer. I mean, we shouldn't yeah. be surprised that we're getting a little heat wave now, but, man, that's going to be hot. It's just so rare that we see the 100-degree days, yeah. and next week's going to be one of those. You can barely squeeze them onto your 7 I know. <laughs> it's not made for that, right? <laughs> Thank you, Kristen. Thanks, Chris.